Time now for your forewarn weather with Garrett James. Checking in on the weather, we're going to send it over to meteorologist Garrett James. He joins us live from southern Utah. Garrett, how's the weather looking for us the rest of this week? Oh, it's looking pretty hazy. In fact, we're going to be looking at an uptick in smog conditions here over the next couple of days. But for the remainder of today, we're going to be looking at moderates for the air quality for Salt Lake County. Same goes for tomorrow, but it increases to unhealthy by Thursday as that high pressure just remains dominant in the forecast. And there we can see that high pressure system. But by the end of the week, that high pressure is going to weaken enough to to where we'll be welcoming a string of low pressure systems. There's the first one, there's the second one, and then a third one coming in from the Pacific Northwest all by this weekend. And by Monday, we'll be tracking possibly a weak one as well. Take a look, high pressure is expected to roll back into the area by late Monday into early Tuesday. That's going to allow for temperatures to start climbing back up once again. So here's a look at the future cast. It shows that we are going to be looking at this high pressure weakening. And as it does so, we'll see our first low pressure system start to give its impacts into the area by about 5 o'clock Wednesday. There we can see a few showers, maybe a rumble or two of thunder going to be possible right on the state line mainly, as that's where the bulk of that storm track is at this point in time. But if it moves a little bit further to the south or a little bit further to the north, will impact us in southern Utah. However, that's not the only one that we're tracking. We're tracking that other one that's back out to the west still. That will be moving into the area not likely until Friday. We go ahead and take a look at the long range future cast. There's that first system moving just to our south, just clipping the area, but then there's that next one moving in by Friday afternoon and then the third system by Saturday. And, but wait, there's more. Take a look at this. We're going to be looking at that fourth system likely by Monday. However, not much precipitation associated with that one as of this time. 29 right now in Logan, as well as Elko, 20 Ely, 30 Delta, 32 Milford, 33 Cedar City, 30 Hanksville, 25 Moab, 30 right now in Green River. However, lows tonight show a lot of 20s out there, 25 Salt Lake City, 22 Nephi, 20 Escalante, 21 Beaver, 29 Cedar City, 33 here in St. George, but 20 in Vernal. But take a look at Vernal's highs tomorrow. Only 23, so not much of a change as far as temperatures go. 42 for Salt Lake and 55 for St. George. For the Wasatch Front, hazy conditions for the next couple of days. Temperatures falling into the 30s by Thursday, 37 Friday with slight rain snow chance. Then Saturday, scattered snow chances, 36 for the high, 37 on Sunday with isolated snow, then scattered once again Monday. St. George, a bit drier, but still slight chances Friday and on Saturday. Sarah, back to you.